for this file, you're just going to change all of these pictures from the default inline with text to the tight text wrapping layout option. And when you do that and you pull it into there, you will see that the text wraps around the picture. I'm just going to show you one more thing here. I took, just for this video, I took the background off Cody and I'm going to change this to a square and move it into the text and you can see that the text will wrap around that rectangular bounding box. There is no line around it if I click off of it, but it is, it does exist there. And when you use the square wrapping, it's going to look at that boundary and wrap the text around that boundary of the bounding box. But I've made this transparent, and if I change to tight, you will see the difference between tight and square is that Word will attempt to wrap the text around the contour of your actual object because the background is transparent. So that's worth knowing the difference between those two. If I actually had some transparency or white area in the middle of a picture, the through will show the text uh, through that area. Top and bottom means that the text uh, will be at the top of the picture and then it's going to break and not uh, show up until the bottom of the picture. And uh, behind text is somewhat like a watermark that it goes behind the text. Pretty tough to read the text and in front of text is going to hide the text. So those are some of the different layout options.